Can you still show homes during these crazy times? Well, that's what this video is going to talk about right now. Hi, everybody. My name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area with nationwide real estate executives. And holy shit, is it nuts or what right now? There's a lot of crazy stuff going on out there right now, so I just wanted to take a moment to let you know about the real estate world here in Long Beach. Right now, it's really confusing times, and everybody's trying to learn as we go along. So it is really confusing, and especially if you had uh, plans to make a move in your future to take full advantage of all that equity you have built up in your home. So here in California, to stay safe, we're under house arrest, uh, schools are closed, you know, just like the rest of the nation. But they even postponed the Long Beach Grand Prix this year. An opening day for the Dodgers. <laughs> but while the rest of the nation is on lockdown, how I'm communicating with my clients is through virtual reality tour. Now, I know a lot of buyers out there have put their decisions on hold for right now. And I totally, 100% support that decision for you and your family. You're trying to make that best decision, what is right for you guys. I understand that. I support it. I've got your back on that. But there are people out there who do need to move. People have already bought their future home and looking to sell their property right now. Then those have to go. So what I am doing to help my clients is a lot of virtual tours. Because right now, I really don't think there's going to be any open houses. And I think it'd be really, really irresponsible to hold an open house. And besides, the governor here in California has limited uh, gatherings to 10 people or less. And I don't mean to brag, but I usually bring in about 12 people to my uh, open house. I'm just kidding. I have really good turnouts. But like I said, holding an open house would just be really irresponsible right now. My friend Tony just had a birthday party, a virtual reality birthday party. He had 150 guests last Saturday night. He had a blast. So here are the eight steps that I have created to help my clients out as much as possible. So number one, this is our virtual consult. Now this is where we're going to open our lines of great communication. Now we're going to do this via phone, FaceTime, Zoom, whatever is easiest for you. And in this consultation, we're going to determine your needs your wants, time frame, do you have children, where do you work, so we can narrow down. Because the more I know about your situation is the better I can help you out and make this transaction go seamless. Number two is getting you qualified. Now, if you don't have a lender already in place, my lender will contact you, get in touch with you, send you all the documents, get you pre-qualified, do everything without you even leaving the comforts of your own home. That's pretty cool. Once we got that done, we're gonna, we have a definite number. We know your needs, your wants. We have a number where you're qualified at. We're gonna set up a property search customized directly for you. And what this does, I will send those to you the minute it hits the market. These properties hit the market, giving you a bigger advantage over the competition by being the first ones to see. So if you do love that property, you have an automatic advantage over your competition. So you're probably thinking, how, how am I gonna sign all these documents, the pre-qualification, the offers, and all this kind of stuff? Well, the same way you're watching me right now on your computer, we're going to send you all the documents to you so you can just digitally sign them, or we can send over a mobile notary to do all that kind of stuff for you also. If you choose to do the computer, I'm even going to show you how to do that. So number five, the virtual tour. So now you really, really love one of the properties and you feel that this could be it and would like a virtual tour if they offer one. But if they don't, I will make an appointment to go over there myself to shoot a video of the entire property, the exterior, the interior, down the side of the house, the street scenes, the neighborhood, so that you can watch it and make a better decision. So now you love that property and you wanna go see it in person. We will meet outside of the property. We will drive two different cars and I will give you some rubber gloves to take in. You can put them on and throw them off when, you're, when we're done. 
But when I make these appointments, I request that the seller opens up all the interior doors, uh, turns on all the lights, opens up pantry doors, uh, cabinet doors, and this and that, so we don't have to really touch anything. My whole goal here is to get you out of there without touching anything. <clears throat> but if you do see something and you would like to investigate a little bit more, I'll take it for the team and I'll do it. Now, houses that are empty, there should be no problem there. You can just call up your agent and you should be able to meet there. Just keep your safe distance with them. And there should be no problem with an empty house, but still err on the side of caution. I was, but, And of course, we will be keeping our SD safe distance throughout the entire process. And even if nothing is touched, when I escort you out of the home, I will go back in, wipe down the light switches, the doorknobs and that kind of stuff. And then we will continue our conversation outside. Either you can go to your cars and we can call each other or we can just stand far apart enough away from each other and just talk. So that way we can discuss if you still want to pursue this home or move on to the next one. So number six, your earnest money deposit. Now this is very, very, very important. So now you have the ability to wire the money to the escrow company via your bank or the option to have a, a mobile title rep come pick up the check for you. If you're going to do the computer route and you're going to wire the money, if you're from out of state or something like that, make sure you follow the escrow's direction to the T. You call them right before you're going to wire the money. You call them right after you're going to wire the money. You, you can keep them on the phone while you're water, wiring the money. Okay, just to make sure that everything goes smooth. So number six is the inspection. Of course you still want an inspection on this home. This is going to be one of your biggest financial purchases in your life. Let's make sure it's a sound one. Okay, you want to get in there and still check the bones of the home. And just because we've got a, a little threat of some virus right now, do not detour that from your investment of your home. I will meet the inspector there. He will give you a 40 page plus detailed report, inspection report, with photographs, descriptions, suggestions, uh, must do's. Okay, I will take care of that for you. I will be there. You don't have to be there. You can be there if you would like to. So how are we gonna close all this paperwork and all this stuff? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna send the closing to you. I will send the notary from the escrow company and they will sign all the escrow, all the paperwork with you and that is it, you're done. They will come to you. Well, number eight, welcome home. That's it, you're done. The only thing left to do now is get the keys. Hmm, how do we do that digitally? Well, one thing I think of is I'll meet you there and I'll hand them to you on a seven foot stick to help people who have to make that move right now. And if you're one of those people who are putting your decisions on hold right now, I 100% support your decision for you and your family. Until next time, everybody, please take care. Keep your distance.